Hey there boys and girls, it's your man Lex the Flex and this is an Art by Lex production. Today we're going to talk about comic book inking, black and white line inking with tech pens and brush and trying to achieve a solid effect, making objects appear larger and more present in the foreground and receding as they go into the middle ground and then background. And today we're going to be working on Silver Sable versus Spidey. So to do that, tools of the trade, we got our Speedball Super Black, Super Black Ink, really good for nice solid blacks. I'm a big believer in never throwing your brushes away. No matter how old or beat up they get, you can still use them for different effects. That's something I learned from my uh, methods and materials teacher, Kim DeMolder in Joe Kubert school. He was the inker on Swamp Thing in the 80s. Fantastic inker. I also have a brand new Raphael number no. three Kalinsky brush. Even got still got the cap on it. Still nice and brown and pointy. Gonna pop the cherry on this one today. And then we have a another. This is the older Raphael number no. three Kalinsky sable brush. A nice way of keeping the points on your brushes is by taking the cap that comes with it when you buy it and taping it on after you're done using the brush. So you do your inking, go to the bathroom or your, wherever your sink is, you wash your brush out in the palm of your hand with just uh, dollar store dish soap or whatever dish soap you have or regular hand soap works too. Clean it, rinse it off with the water, snap it on your wrist and the, the bristles of the brush should snap to a point. Then when that happens, put your cap back on it and then tape it and that helps preserve your point. The cleaner your brush is, the easier it will be to do feathered lines and to very beautifully vary your line weights. So my fresh brush, my brand new brush, I'll be using for that. And then as I get thicker and thicker with the ink using more and more ink, I'll switch to this one, the slightly older uh, Raphael number no. 3 Kalinsky Sable. And then when I'm just filling in blacks, that's when I'll use my, my old brush. And then towards the edges, I might round it out with a newer brush. And then for stiff lines, I have Prismacolor Premier Tech Pens. I have an 05, an 01, and a 005. The 005 I only use for rendering. I wouldn't I wouldn't do a contour line with an 05, with a 005, because it's a very fine point and it wouldn't, it might, it might crack at the edge of your ruler. Speaking of rulers, another trick from Cubert School is the penny lined ruler. Tape some pennies along your, along your ruler, so that way when you're inking and you have your pen, it's a raised edge because if you put the ruler flat on the paper and then you put your pen you're going to get that bleed under the ruler and you don't want that if you have it raised slightly it allows you to ink along the edge of the ruler without having the ink bleed under the ruler and then lastly for for cleanup we got kneaded eraser and regular eraser Okay, now that we've done a lot of the contour lines of the piece, what we're going to do now is we're going to take our kneaded eraser and we're going to clean up all the underlying pencil that's there. Now 
at this stage, now that there's just pen and ink on the page, now we can start what I like to call the fun part, which is sketching with the inks. You're going to start modeling and rendering form in inks. This is something you can do. Okay, so now we're done with inking this piece for the day. Let's have a look. So now at this point, what we're gonna do is clean up the workstation, get rid of any excess materials, and we're gonna clean our brush and the bathroom at the sink with some hand soap. You want to get into the habit of cleaning your brush after every time you use it. You don't want to let the ink dry in the bristles of your brush because if you do that, it will harden the bristles of your brush and it'll separate them. They won't bend and flow like you need them to when you're doing your line work. So you want to get in the habit of cleaning your brush after every single time you use it. It's, it will extend the life of your brush tremendously. Don't be surprised if you're using the same brush for three or five years, because I've had brushes for that long that still work. Subscribe to my channel for new art and bodybuilding videos each week. This is Art by Lex saying stay strong and stay positive. Till next time.